Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to the English lectures of grade 7. Our today's lecture is about active passive voice of future perfect tense. In the previous lecture, I have discussed general rules for changing a sentence from active to passive. For your convenience, I am going to discuss it once again. Actually, there are four general rules when we change a sentence from active to passive. These rules are the object of <coughs> active becomes the subject of passive. Number second, third form of the verb is used in passive voice. Number third, addition of preposition by in maximum sentences but not in all sentences and subject of active becomes object of passive. These are four general rules for all tenses. As far as we are going to discuss future perfect tense right now, first of all, we have to discuss how we define future perfect tense. Future perfect tense is actually that tense which shows the completion of our action but in the future. Third form of the verb is used in this tense. Now, what is the special rule for changing a sentence of future perfect tense from active to passive? So while changing the tense into passive voice, the helping verbs will have, shall have will change into will have been and shall have been. Third form of verb will remain the same. So you see students uh, that along with the remaining general rules, we have one special rule here that the helping verbs will have will change into will have been and shall have will change into shall have been and third form of the verb as i told you that third form of the verb is used in future perfect tense remember in all perfect tenses in present perfect tense past perfect tense future perfect tense we use third form of the verb so here third form of the verb will remain the same. Now coming towards the example. I shall have written a book. I shall have written a book. So it will change like this. A book will have been written by me. A book will have been written by me. A book. Active ka object ta. It is subject ban gaya. And by me. A book will have been written by me. The second one is the teacher will have finished, will have punished, punished the student. The teacher will have punished, P U N I S H A D, Sazadena, punished the students. The students, the student will have been punished by the teacher, punished. Here, here is mistake of the letter F N P, it is P, not F. The student will have been punished by the teacher the third one is it is an example of negative sentence they will not have been learned the lesson the lesson will not have been learned by them okay keep in mind they will not have learned the lesson there is no word like been here they will not have learned the lesson the lesson will not have been learned by them. Now, the fourth one. Ali will not have taken the exercise. Ali will not have taken the exercise. The exercise will not have been taken by Ali. Now, coming towards interrogative sentences. Will you have played? Will you have? Here, how is missing? Will you have played cricket in the garden? Will cricket have been played by you in the garden? Keep in your mind, Bache. Here, the helping word remains at the start. Will cricket have been played by you in the garden? Now, the next example is also interrogative. Will the rich man have helped the poor people? Will the poor people have been helped by the rich? Now, coming again towards the rules. 
once again i am going to discuss the general rules keep it in your mind but you write down with yourselves note down with yourselves number 1 the four general rules number 1 object of active becomes subject of passive third form of the verb is used addition of preposition by in maximum sentences but not in all sentences and subject of active becomes object of passive these are general rules and special rule for future perfect tenses while changing the tense into passive wise the helping verbs will have shall have will change into will have been and shall have been now what you have to do you have to write 10 sentences of future perfect tense in active form and then convert those sentences into passive you have to practice it again and again so that you may understand it in a better way okay thank you so much